Sometimes you want to show a pop-up window without having to navigate to a whole other XAML page. So the pop-up window could be informative or could ask a question as simple as, are you sure you want to do this? The technique is simple. We're going to create a canvas and then we're going to put some controls in it and then display it or hide it based on you know the particular instance that we need. Uh, we're going to hide it, setting its visibility to collapsed, and then the button is going to be responsible for closing it or rather hiding it. We'll add a button on the main content grid that'll be responsible for opening it up and displaying it then to the user. So as you can see in Visual Studio, I have a new project created called Canvas Dialog. And if you take a look, first of all, I've already uh, by hand typed in the definition for a button control. First off, I've decided only to use the XAML code editor and issue the toolbox in XAML Designer. So this is going to allow me to navigate through the page's contents, uh, even though some ele elements might cover up other elements, as we're going to see in just a moment. So in this button that I created, it's pretty standard. Uh, set the content to open, set its height and its width, its horizontal and vertical alignments, set its margin, and uh, created a click event called open button underscore click. All right, so the next thing that I want to do is to, uh, to create a dialogue. So uh, to do this, I'm going to create a canvas. So I'll set its name equal to my dialogue. And I happen to have some values here that I'm just going to go ahead and type in. I happen to know them uh, because I've already gone through this example once. However, I might experiment with the uh, the sizes of things and so forth to get just the right combination Now the final property that I want to show is this visibility and I'm going to set this. There's two possible options, collapsed or visible. Collapsed means it will not be seen and visible means it will be seen. So we'll set that visibility property in code whenever somebody clicks on our open button. So if we were to look at our XAML page, uh, we can see now that our dialog that has this red color of FF6E0000 is covering up our button control. So this is one of the instances where it makes sense to use the, uh, the code editor as opposed to the designer because it wouldn't be very easy to get to and select the properties that are behind other objects on the XAML page. So once again I want to get back to just the code editor here. Now within the canvas I'm going to also finish it out like that. I'm going to add a, uh, a text block and it's just going to give some instructions. So it's not all that interesting based on what we've already seen with a text block. Okay, and then after I've created the text block at the top, I want to put a, uh, a button below it.
Okay, so before I go any further, I want to inspect the work one more time here. And I like what I see. This is what I had in mind. Notice we still can't see that open me button. Uh, however, we can see the close me button. Now what we want to do is to actually write some code that will pop open and then close this dialog. So it's, it's pretty easy to do. I'm going to, first of all, go to this open button. I'm going to right click and select navigate to the event handler. And then I'm going to type in the name of the canvas, my dialog, visibility, equal to, and here is a uh, an enumeration called system.windows.visibility that our type is set to for the visibility property. So I'm just going to hit the period on my keyboard so that it'll create that whole system.windows.visibility and then I'm going to choose visible. Then going back to the main page.xaml, I'm going to go down to my other button and I'm going to right click on the close button under short click and select navigate to that event handler and I'll just do the opposite of that dot visibility equals system dot windows dot visibility and then I'm going to set it back to collapsed alright alright so let's go ahead and run the application now alright so here we go I'm going to click the open button now you can see the dialog pops up. I can interact on this dialog, which is just a canvas, and then I can click the close me button to close it, and I can keep opening and closing it, because all I'm really doing is just showing and hiding the canvas and everything in the canvas. So this is an instance where the canvas control is very useful. I think the beyond just the canvas discussion, we need to talk briefly about enumerations. I may have already alluded to this once, I just want to reemphasize it. We don't want to get into a full discussion of creating your own custom enumerations, but sometimes when you're working in the .NET framework, you're going to come across properties or objects that require us to account for the um, data type that is defined as an enumeration. And an enumeration is simply a special data type that can only be set to one of several possible values. So the canvas's visibility property is either well, it's of type system.windows.visibility and therefore can only be set to the two possible values that have been defined for this class, either visible or collapsed. Now that means nothing to us, however, whenever the visibility property sees this, it knows how to, how to respond to those two enumerations that were created. Again, enumerations are outside the scope of this series of videos. Typically, whenever you use IntelliSense, it's going to help you out in that regard like it did here, just to kind of show this again whenever I get near to the end of visibility and I hit the equal sign it's going to well, let me do this over again visibility equal all right, it's gonna make a liar out of me but there we go visibility equals uh, and so it's gonna pop this up as the default possible value and so I can look off to the right hand side it says enum system dot windows that visibility that triggers in my mind that I need to now just hit the dot on the keyboard to see what the possible values are. Alright, so um, again, this is kind of an advanced concept with enumerations. Just take the, the cues from, uh, from Visual Studio and you should be able to navigate your way whenever you run into those types of situations, not specifically just for visibility, but for other properties that you come across with when you, that you want to set programmatically. Okay, so Besides being a useful user interface tool in your tool belt, I think there are a couple of important takeaways from this lesson. The first is that you can use a canvas to act as a pop-up dialog. You can control it using the visibility property. You can even reposition it if you needed to. Also, you need to keep in mind that uh, the position of the XAML will affect the Z order of the items in the XAML page. So if we go back here, we could put our open button and move it below the canvas and that would put it essentially on top of the red area but we don't want that we want to cover up everything else below it and so keeping track of where our items are positioned uh, will impact the Z order so this is going to be the lowest this will be the next lowest and then on top of that this will be the lowest item and then this will be above it 
So if I were to take this and put it over, you can see that the button then crosses out some of the text. Uh, it would probably even be better if I were to position it uh, or have a, a, no, a no opacity within that button, but I hope you get the, the, the basic idea that the lower uh, the item is in the listing, the higher up in the Z order and closest to the user if you were to think of it in a 3D space, okay? And then finally, the visibility property of the canvas is a special type called an enumeration. Uh, the specific enumeration defines only those possible values that the canvas visibility can understand. Okay, so very simple video, easy concept. I'm not even sure we're going to use it in our ultimate application. We might need, have a need for a pop-up. If we do, we'll use this technique. Okay, so hopefully that'll help out. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Mm -hmm.